Bom dia, Martin here from Schildwache Potsdam. And today we visit Castello de Chilves in the south of Portugal. So Castello de Chilves is a castle from the 12th century built by King Sancho I, probably on the ruins of the Arabs. And I love medieval castles. Don't get me wrong, I love the modern stuff, the Renaissance stuff as well, but that's something about medieval buildings, the simplicity, the adherence to put function over form which really uh, pleases a nerve in myself. So let's have a look around. While the castle is to the south of Portugal, the Atlantic Ocean is not in sight. Like many fortifications of old, Castelo de Chilves protects a valley with a river the medieval equivalent to railroads and highways, enabling them to transport large quantities of goods from A to B. The old town of Silvish is quite nicely preserved as well and holds many opportunities for tourists to spend their money. But at the heart of the town, on a hill, you'll find the huge castle. Within the castle walls, you find the ruins of old economy buildings, as well as a park to spend your leisure time. Built of silver sandstone, the castle has the shape of an irregular polygon and the main gate flanked by two defensive towers, three turrets and seven sides. Visitors can walk around the patrol route. There are a number of remains from the period of Muslim occupation on the inside of the castle. In particular, a silo, which was used for storing cereals, and a cistern covered by a vault seated in five semicircular arches. Despite having rebuilt in the 13th century after the city was taken from the Moors, Sivish Castle is one of the best examples of Arab military architecture in Portugal. The cistern is especially interesting as it was still in use up until the first half of the 20th century, when the cistern in Sivish Castle actually provided the population of Silvish with their drinking water. In the castle tower's interior you find a couple of models on how especially the economy buildings in the castle interior would have looked like and some archaeological findings. That's nothing too shabby, but also nothing too special from what I can tell, comparing with a lot of other castles I've already visited. So really the only criticism from myself is that there is missing a knight. Come on guys, you have such a beautiful castle, put a knight in here or someone else uh, living the history in front of you so it's uh, way more lively. After a quick search I actually found a promising tent but there was no one there. I could easily see Silvish Castle being a way more attractive tourist highlight with some, well, historical reenactors in there. 
Of course, this also induces some cost, but come on, during high season and on a weekend, there should be something. So I hope you liked this little tour around the castle. Remember, you can like, share and subscribe and also support us on Patreon. Until next time, take care and ciao.